It's the TGIF edition, and you're still watching Breakfast Central on New Central. Now, don't forget, you can follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and yes, we are still on Twitter. You can stream live on YouTube. You can catch us live on Star Times Channel 274 and Arvo TV Channel 23. Well, I don't know about Oluchi. As for me, <laughs> I've not seen the Twitter bell as for now. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Now, citizenship participation in politics is a significant you know, element of democratic governance all over the world, including, yes, in Africa and Nigeria. Now, the structure and amount of citizenship in politic, political participation can have influence on the degree and quality of government and governance. Now, as plans are underway for the 2023 elections in Nigeria, questions and concerns have been raised about the participation of youth in the exercise. Now, every year, Why Niger brings to bear its commitment to focus debate on national and subnational politics and its role in progressive development. In this light, they dig deep through the surface and below water level to highlight 100 most influential players in the country. Now, joining us this morning on Breakfast Central is Timidayo Taiwo Siddiq. He is the editor of Why Niger. Timidayo, welcome to Breakfast Central. Good to have you on the program. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Obichi. Good morning, Timidayo. All right, so let's go straight to it. Why Niger released its annual politics um, 100 just uh, not, not too long ago, very recently. Now, in the course of putting this together, did anything at all stand out or even surprise you? Well, uh, quite a lot because uh, when you look at it, uh, I think one of the first things that was shocking is that we had about um, 17 categories for uh, that we've listed in the honorees at our B2. And of those 17 categories, we barely had young people feature uh, in not more than two categories. That's for journalists, uh, journalism, and uh, for activists. Outside that, um, when we talk about the most influential people in different spaces in Nigeria, among politicians, among um, federal executive council, in the legislature, in the um, judiciary, in uh, um, several segments of society, we we'll find that even that it's, it's surprising that we won't get any um, young person. So um, that was a huge surprise for us. And also, um, I think that a lot of people in Nigeria think that um, the general perception is that young people um, like to believe rather that uh, it's only those who are playing in the active space, that's the politicians, the uh, Qatari members of political parties that are influential. But we did realize that um, even the media is more powerful than uh, it creates itself. So those two things stood out for us. All right, uh, it was released this morning. I'm still checking it out on my phone. Yes, you know, we have to be internet savvy here. I'm seeing lists like uh, activism, you know, clerics, media, civil society, uh, Timidayo. Now, what was the criteria for the people on this list and how did your team, you know, arrive at this final list? So importantly, um, I need to first of all state that uh, what my Niger does is a uh, perception index. So it's largely um, based on um, whatever criteria we've set. But coming to how we arrived at that, first of all, we have a think tank um, and an editorial team that we work with on one to do projects of this magnitude. And part of the things that we looked at was social impact. I mean, it's not enough to say that you are a governor or you are popular, but what about impact? What about, because influence is about driving people to achieve a particular goal. Most times, uh, they want wild goal. Then there's also the part about, uh, there's also the part about influencing people in the manner that um, the country is able to express development, whether in that small space that they occupy, or uh, that's subnational or on a, on a national scale. Importantly also, uh, we use the opinion surveys, and we also use the some correspondent assessment, the news reports. These are the four major indexes that we work with. That's a correspondent assessment, news reports. Um, then also, we also use the, the uh, editorial team's opinion. Right. All right, um, Temi Dayo, looking at this list, we have about 100 on, um, honoraries, I beg your pardon, um, that we selected. Now, out of this number, we just have 50 young people. Now, when I mean young, I mean people who are under the age 
of 40 that were um, that were in this number and a total of 100 about 15 of them were under 40. Wow. what would you say are some of the key factors behind this low representation of youth in nigerian politics well, uh, I would need to say that there are quite a lot of factors, but uh, the obvious factor is the fact that um, young people, we have uh, taken the back seat deliberately. Uh, we find a case where we don't want to involve in the political process. Beyond, um, okay, Twitter has been suspended now, but uh, beyond retweeting and tweeting, what the NSAS uh, protest proved to us was that uh, Nigerians, if we actually take destiny to our own hands by leaving behind our key parts and coming onto the streets to um, to do what is necessary of us, we'll be able to take power because uh, power is not said to anybody. Usually, you have to take power. So when we talk about factors that is hindering uh, the use of representation in our politics, uh, our party is one of it because um, there's been distrust over time of uh, those who have been elected and there's this general feeling that um, nothing uh, i'm not interested about what goes on in nigeria i'm not inter i am interested in what goes on in canada and canada is where i want to be people have nigerian youth young people who uh, are living physically in nigeria but uh, their their spirit and soul is is um, out of the country everybody wants to jack um, if i mean if i mean put it in that way so essentially um Nothing will change if we don't uh, move away from our key part and get to uh, doing the actual things that are expected to get power. We saw what happened with the uh, Not Too Young to Run uh, bill that was passed shortly before the 2019 election. Yeah. And regardless of how small it is, we could see that now we have a um, commissioner in Oyo State who is on that text. We have um, about three or four speakers of House of uh, Assemblies at the state level who are under 40. And that's uh, something that we can leverage on, we can consolidate upon to continue to move. But this, um, I don't care attitude where we feel like, okay, the whole thing has been decided, um, there's nothing we can do about it. We'll continue to read the Book of Lamentations. Oh, okay, well, I avoid the whole book entirely of where the, even the <laughs> chapter Lamentations came from. But seriously now, Temidayo, why Niger? It's a youth-centered platform, which, you know, you're an editor there. So how would you react to, to the notion that Nigeria's youth are unprepared, you know, for something as serious as the leadership political space? To a large extent, it's true. Um, but I also feel like there's a tiny percentage of uh, among us, uh, that includes myself, who are interested in what goes on in the political space. I mean, apart from the fact that my job requires me to uh, focus on the news, I consume more of news and current affairs content. And I would say that maybe my own is peculiar because uh, I grew up on, um, on, on NTA. I mean, uh, I, I was very current about what was going on. I started reading newspapers from the age of five. So you may excuse me and say my own, uh, in my own case, it is a, uh, it is uh, peculiar. Yeah. However, the truth remains that there are um, a lot of Nigerians right. who they get concerned about what's going on, but with this seeming, uh, with this with this slight distraction, what happens is that they shift their focus away from what matters most to um, what is uh, temporal. And a good example would be um, our reality TV shows. Yes, All right. entertainment. All right. Entertainment is great. All but right, thank we you. Have a problem where we yeah. All right, thank you very much, uh, Timmy Dayo Taiwo, Siddiq, editor of uh, Why Nigeria. Well, the people can go and check out that list that came out this morning. Contro there's a controversial one there, too. Mm -hmm. Separatists, I saw in that category. Sunday Boho and also Nandi Kano, but there'll be more on that to come later. But thank you very much once again, Timmy Dayo, for coming on Breakfast Central. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right.